here in Griffith this afternoon among the townsfolk was one relief. Relief that the report had finally been released and that it confirmed what they'd felt, what they'd known all along. But at the same time, it also confirmed their worst fears. Key figures in the affair, the six men named in the report, I was unable to contact either this man, Antonio Sergi, seen here during the Royal Commission with Mr Justice Woodward, or any of the other people involved. One person who did speak to me, though, was Mrs. Barbara McKay, widow of Don McKay, who said she didn't want to comment in detail on the report at this stage. I was very interested and pleased to see what I did of the report. Uh, I feel at this stage perhaps I shouldn't make any more comment because it is commissioned by the government and they are the ones that the public have given the uh, authority to act to and I wait with interest to see how fast and just what action they take. What Mrs McKay and the people of Griffith want now is for action to be taken against the six men named in the report. Only then will they feel that Don McKay has in some way been avenged. In Griffith, Laurie Wilson for Seven National News. Another drug story today, the federal government announced that the controversial Narcotics Bureau will be disbanded. An interim report of the Australian Drugs Inquiry and I stated forest country near... Philip Scholl reports. The plan was discovered by the police helicopter Polair 1 while on a drug patrol last month in the rugged Broken Back Ranges, 170 kilometres north of Sydney. It was hidden in thick forest and inaccessible by motor vehicle. Police who travelled to the area in four-wheel drive Land Rovers today had to abandon them two kilometres away and cover the rest of the journey on foot. They found more than 100,000 plants, well cultivated but still several weeks from maturity. The plantation was deserted with some gardening tools and cooking equipment, the only sign of life. A month-long watch on the area brought no results and today council workers moved in to uproot the plants. It will now be destroyed in one of the strangest bonfires the district has seen for some time. Today's raid follows the arrest of four people in other marijuana raids near Cessnock last week. However, police don't believe they're related. The